Hi everybody, welcome back to us up here at the storage yard. Now today, Angela and I are dealing with the elephant in the room, which is caravan beds. Now, you would probably have had horror stories from various people that uh, sleeping in a caravan is a deeply unpleasant experience. It's uh, uncomfortable, it's lumpy, it's hard, it's small, it's lots of horror stories I'm sure you would have heard. And uh, we have experienced every one of those. We set out on our caravan adventure with lots of different configurations and I'll share some of those with you in a moment. But uh, needless to say, we've gone through an awful lot of configurations to try and find the perfect bedding option for us and the perfect night sleep. Yes. And we've now got it. We've got it sussed. Um, it's taken us some time, but for the last, well, when did we, I think it was May, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it May? Since May, we have um, been uh, using duvelets. We bought them back in April last year. Um, and we used them for the first time in May, in fact, when we went away to Devon. And it absolutely, a thousand percent, transformed our sleeping experience. It actually gave us a very comfortable night's sleep, um, which weirdly is more comfortable than when we're at home. And we have a very expensive mattress at home. We do. <laughs> and it is more comfortable in the caravan now than it is, in the, uh, than it is at home. Um, a testament to that, before we bought the duvelets, we were always up at about 7, 7.30 in the morning and you'd mutter it to yourself, although you'd never let it on, as a, thank God that's over and done with, um, you know, survived another night. And progressively, as the week went on, you got more and more tired and we just never really enjoyed sleeping. But, I used to suffer with my back. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, since we've had these duvelets, we actually sleep in quite a lot now. Um, and it's lovely. It's just a really lovely sleeping experience. Mm. So anyway, without further ado, let me share with you now some of the different configurations that we've gone through and um, and also share with you what we now have and why we think it's a great system. So we started off with a single bed and a sleeping bag. Now, s foolishly, I actually bought sleeping bags for the caravan because I had a notion that back in the day when I went camping back in the 80s, caravans were cold, damp, and uh, miserable places to sleep in. So of course, by the time I bought the caravan, put the uh, sleeping bags into it, we realized that the sleeping bags were completely over the top and it was a very, very hot experience to sleep in a sleeping bag in a caravan. So we quickly ditched those. The next idea was to have just a single duvet, but sleep on top of the innards of the sleeping bag. So between Angela and myself, we took a sleeping bag, separated it into its two halves, and we used that as our bedding and we slept with that and a duvet. It was okay, the problem I found was that it was too short. Where I sleep, on this side of the van, um, there's a ledge this side, which means you can't put your head underneath it, and at the other end, you've got the ridge for the front, um, and I could never get my head or my feet around that, so it was, it was always quite cramped. So I was always sleeping on my side with my knees bent. Not a particularly great experience, to be honest with you. Finally, we ditched the sleeping bags all together and we went for a double duvet each. Uh, we slept on one half of that and rolled the other half on top of us. It was a terrible idea. We just took up too much space to ca carry it around with us and it was just a terrible idea because it just occupied more of the bed than you did. So we decided then what we would do is we'd go to a double bed configuration. We'd actually make up the bed as it was intended. And uh, first of all, we turned all the, the, the pads over and uh, that revealed to us it was incredibly hard. So what we did is we used the double duvet to sleep on and we used our sleeping bags as sheets across the top. That was okay, it was all right, but it was still quite uncomfortable. Certainly as you turned over in the night, the duvet would move out from underneath you. It was a particularly unpleasant experience when you're sort of tossing and turning, etc. So our next configuration was to use the sleeping bags underneath us and two single duvets, which worked out okay. It was probably the most comfortable up to that point. We found that sleeping on top of the sleeping bags was a particularly hard experience. The pads really didn't give any movement at all. And then that brings us up to our current and final configuration. And what we have now is we have the single duvet mattress toppers, which we use and we roll out and we use those with two single duvets, and that is a perfect night sleep. So this is the duvet that we actually own. Uh, we've got two of these, and as you can see, it comes in a really nice bag. 
during the day when we're not using the, the, the uh, duvelets, we simply put these in the shower, in fact, at the end of the caravan. Uh, because we don't often use the shower in the caravan, it just works out a good place to store them. So basically, what we've got is we've got a nice bag, which keeps everything nice and safe and secure. And then as we unzip it, you can see that the actual mattress topper is nicely rolled up. Just remove the bag. And you'll notice that we've got two straps here, which just literally undo. Nothing complicated about this at all, is there? And then the mattress itself will just flop out and there we go. Now what we like about these the most, and this is particularly the reason why we bought these in fact, is I don't know if you can see here, but the actual bed sheet itself zips onto the mattress. So as you can see here, that's the duvet mattress itself. Again, this can be unzipped as well. You can see there's a zip here. This can be unzipped, which means that this can go and be washed and cleaned and uh, it makes everything nice and clean. But what's great is that you can buy multiples of these bed sheets themselves, so it keeps everything really nice and clean. So if you're going away for long periods and you want a fresh change of bed, buy a couple of these and they just zip, literally unzip and zip onto the bedding. So let me show you a quick time lapse of how quick and easy it is to put our bedding up together. So the duvet system itself is really, really easy. We purchased the five centimeter mattress toppers. The actual dimensions of what we've bought, I'll put down in the description below. Um, they're not cheap, um, I'll, I'll grant you that. You can probably make up something yourself a lot cheaper. The reason why we didn't was really the packaging and the, the actual product itself. You know, these things are made by people who know what they're doing. Um, the, the memory foam is not the only thing you're buying, you're buying the quilted cover as well. Mm. And what we really liked about it is that the sheet that you sleep on zips up over the top of the mattress topper. So really all you've got to do is unclip it, roll it out and you're done. Add pillow, add duvet, and that's your bed isn't it? Yep. Um, when we first bought them they did smell didn't they? Oh yes. It's quite a pungent chemical smell um, which can be quite off-putting and we found that what we did is that we bought them in the was it April we bought them in I think we bought them in the April and they arrived in May because yeah. it was a bit of time to arrive that's right so what we did is we had a month or so where we were not using them so what we did is we unzipped everything all the sheets obviously were washed but we unzipped everything and left everything out to ventilate which was fantastic um, it meant that it didn't smell at all Plus I used Febreze. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah you did spray them with Febreze as well. Um, and by the time we were using them, not a problem at all. Mm. So if you do buy them, you be aware that there is quite a, you know, a strong manufacturing chemical smell to them. Um, but after a period of time, it, it just disappears anyway. I'm just going to take a moment to talk about the pillows that we're using. We liked the Duvelets so much that uh, we didn't buy the company, which was nice. <laughs> Uh, we liked the duvelets so much that we actually got the pillows as well and we've got these memory foam pillows This is what you saw us using when we made the bed up. But I've just taken the cover off um, And these are memory foam pillows and these are Bizarre is the word I'm going to use um, When you put your head on a pillow, I don't know if you like soft or hard pillows, but when you put your head on a pillow um, it, it sort of hugs you it cuddles you you sink your head into it. It's lovely and soft and it's lovely um, these things, that doesn't happen. It's a bit like sleeping on a soft brick. Um, that sounds a really unkind thing to say, I know. But, but it genuinely isn't. Um, you put your head onto it, it sinks into the pillow, it feels lovely and comfortable, it's at the right height, it's lovely, but your head doesn't sink into the pillow. And it took me two or three nights to really get used to this because I thought, I don't know if I like this or not. But after a while, I really started to love it because um, your head doesn't move into the pillow. So by the time the morning comes around, your pillow hasn't crept across the bed or isn't rolled up against the headboard or, you know, hasn't deflated because of your head moving around on it. It stays in exactly the same position. 
as it did in the evening when you put your head onto it. And I must say, these these are probably my new favourite thing actually, <laughs> because they are so comfortable. I, I really. Mm. How do you find it? I find this a lot more comfortable because yeah, you don't find that you start off in the night, your head's raised, and then by the morning it's sunk to the bottom of the bed. <laughs> you always used to use a lot of pillows as well yeah. to, to counteract that effect of your head sinking into the pillow, didn't you? Yeah. You don't with this. Nope. It's just this, isn't it? Yeah. So it is literally just this and um, and the duvet system. We liked it so much, in fact, that we've got these for the house now as well, <laughs> um, which are absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoy them. Um, again, though, with the duvets, these do have quite a pungent chemical smell to them, and we noticed it. It was worse with these, I think, because your, your face is literally straight yeah. on onto it, on, aren't they? Yeah. So we did exactly the same thing we did with these, we did with the duvelets. Um, we just let them air out for a couple of weeks before we actually used them. And I washed the cover. Washed the covers, and you did spray them as well, didn't you? Yeah, for breeze again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, these are, I mean, I think you can see, I don't know if I can get this in shot, but I think you can see how squidgy they are, but it's memory foam, so it just bounces straight back. And it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're really comfortable, really comfortable as far as sleeping on a um, soft brick goes, I suppose. <laughs> it sounds such an unkind thing to say, but it genuinely is like that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And there we go, guys. That is it. That is our bedding set up here in the caravan. Um, and I hope that it's been of use to you. I do recommend the Duvelets. This is not sponsored. I'm not endorsed by Duvelets, and this is not in any way, shape or form a promotion for them. But I can tell you from my experience, they are worth every penny right there we go guys i hope this video has been of use to you any questions feel free to ask us down below i've put a link to everything that we bought um down in the uh in description as well and uh, i hope it's been of use for you so take care until the next one we'll see you soon take care now bye